what's going on guys welcome back to the channel you're welcome yes we are embarking on a new journey once again this show has been recommended on my channel from like i think back when i was watching game of thrones <laughs> like i'm talking about three years ago probably um crazy that we're here now pretty much three years later finally getting a chance to react to this chore i went back to the discord to look at some of the suggestions that were there and this was one of them that popped up for tv shows and i know i know guys i know that this show is not popular okay so before you judge okay before you judge i would say to you guys take a chance on it just like i'm taking a chance on it i am going to watch this series to the end i think it's like 40 something episodes off it i don't know if it's seasoned i don't think it is but it is a chinese drama i did watch a trailer off it didn't really reveal anything to me um but as i said i don't mind checking out series from other countries or whatever french dramas chinese dramas things from i watch anime from out of japan i don't mind experiencing these things from different countries because some of the time they might have some fire things that we could watch too you know i i watch you know chinese dramas before so when it comes on to this stuff i've seen movies that come straight out of china that are really good um never watched a, a um a drama like a tv series out of time but i've definitely watched chinese drama movies um and they're always pretty good i love the aesthetic i love the culture i love asian culture i don't know what it is about them i don't know if it's just the, the 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 flamboyant colors that they use and stuff like that in the, the, the way how they dress the um all these other stuff that they use the way how they they put their hair and i'm fascinated by the women you know what i'm saying i'm not even gonna lie like asian women are probably um top probably top three culture women that uh you know what i'm saying <laughs> i would say um you know and very unique very unique in the style you know of their culture that i really really do enjoy <laughs> you know what i mean so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this series is going to do um so if you're watching this you're watching this for the first time with me as well um just know this if you understand what my style is i am going to be putting up a cut up version of this on youtube which is probably going to have a white sheet of paper <laughs> over the screen so you can't really see it because youtube don't play with copyright so if you want to see the full reaction for this the link will be down in the description this is just so that anybody who wants to watch a shorter version um, of course, I'm going to put it up to see if it sticks. I don't think it will stick on YouTube, but I'm definitely going to be testing it out to see if it does. If I doesn't have, don't have to cover it up. Listen, I don't want the Chinese to come after me. Okay. Them, them, them the people don't play with their stuff. Okay. So, um, cause they, they will try to get you removed from YouTube. Like they will strike your channel in a heartbeat. They don't play okay so i gotta make sure that everything is good and well done well you already know that this is going to be subtitled because they're going to be speaking mandarin and you know we're just gonna read so if you don't like reading too bad <laughs> too bad but in any case guys i think this series is going to be a good one i will try to um to cut it up in such a way where there's a shorter version on youtube if i don't have to cover it up then i won't but if i want to in include certain things that are that are important and stuff like that i might have to to cover it up and we'll just enjoy and you can just enjoy the dialogue i guess i don't know i don't know what this is going to present um and how it's going to play out but if this is your first time watching on the channel just understand that that is how we do things over here um 
I'm, I'm gonna try my best to not cut cut out too much of it so that the shorter version that's on YouTube is at least comprehensible enough but I would advise you guys to watch go to the description click on the link and watch the full version if you want to follow along if this is something that you've already watched and you're just watching for my reaction then that's fine but you can watch along with me you can go to the full reaction link there is you don't have to pay to see it because as I said before when it comes on to this stuff I'm not trying to make money off of other people's creations and stuff like that so that's why I provide full reactions for free that you don't have to pay for and stuff like that but um, let's jump into it man if you have not liked the video yet go ahead and do that Turbi reacts man today is a good day I finally get to watch Nirvana and fire let's get it man let's go Okay. Oh. oh. Well, damn. War. Why are you telling him to live on? Is that a dream? Shall 是不是要傳信去金陵呢?不必了。大梁出事北燕的使臣已在路上。京城的皇子們馬上就會知道。你去歸檔。是。他果然辦到了。It's going to take me a while to get these names. Seems like there's going to be a lot of information. Oh, is this the new the, the guy that just got crowned? Oh, he's the fifth prince. Prince you okay. They crowned another prince as the sixth prince. So is he I'm guessing he doesn't like the fact. Mm. Mm. 
。话可不能这么说啊！太子殿下虽在京城，他也没少替陛下分忧啊。下个月就是太皇太后的寿圣，誉王也该回京了吧？嗯，已经在回城的路上了，误不了。静欢这次巡视江左，差事办得很好，等他回来。I mean, look at this, bro. Come, come on, man. The drip, the drip. That's why I love their culture so much, man. But the Asian culture just always have these, these colors that they that they have within their culture. You know what I'm saying? Like the way how they put colors together, and just the way. They just look distinguished. I'm not saying this is how they 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 do things. It's just that in their movies and their their dramas and whatever, the way how they predict, especially in live action, the way how they put colors together. You know what I'm saying? They just always have this distinguished royal look about them. That's yeah. You know I mean, I don't know if maybe this is because this is probably set set back in. Um, you know, I don't know what age this is or whatever. Yeah, you know I mean, like I don't know, but I I, I love seeing it. Cool. 到最后竟然是他拿下了东宫之位，成为了太子。这简直是匪夷所思。All right, so from what I'm understanding so far, correct me if I'm wrong, because you guys are following along as well, <laughs> or those of you who have watched the show already. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like there are a, six princes, right? And for some reason. It's like being a crowned prince is different from just being a prince. It seems, it seems like the sixth prince got crowned, and the rest of them are not crowned, or maybe there is more to learn. But we've, I guess. Silk pouch. 就是那个号称无所不知、无所不晓的狼牙阁，正是。What? <laughs> okay. Omniscient and all-knowing, a place, not a person. Oh. To have him is the hold up, bro. Y'all throwing a lot of information at me. I want to keep up here, man. Pull that back a little bit. What was in the pouch? The chilling, the key, the chilling, killing talent. A mythical beast, sometimes associated with the rising of a benevolent, benevolent ruler, and it says, "To have him is to have the world." Ooh. Then, is it just one sentence? Who is the mythical beast? 六皇子不肯说出姓名。哦，所以 the world is promised to somebody。看来我得亲自上一趟狼牙阁了。殿下，晚膳已经备好，您是在这正厅上用，还是？去前厅吧。哎。Yo, my guy's not even mo- Bro, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yo! Fifth I didn't- Yo! What? There's gonna be more 
martial arts? Let's go! Bruh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's there's gonna be martial arts in this. I didn't know. Ah, bruh. It's over. It's over. If we if <laughs> come on man. I didn't know there was gonna be martial arts in this. I thought it was just gonna be a, a drama, but it's actually a, a, a action drama. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get it, man. All right, forget it. So he thinks that the crown prince sent him after him? I wonder if it's him. I wonder if it's him. I guess they got bigger questions. Oh,备好的锦囊拿给他。叫他回京后，方可打开。是。玉王来了，大梁太子的人马也应该到了。到时就给他们一份同样的答案。只是。你想说什么？ <laughs> 狼牙阁一旦开口回答朝堂中时只怕不得安宁吧问题出自朝堂答案却在江湖无妨怎么样拿到了卓鼎峰日夜兼程几乎和玉王同步回到金陵刚将此锦囊送到微臣家中狼牙榜首狼牙榜首江左梅郎江左梅郎 Is that a hit list? Maro,此人是谁? 逆转风云狼牙榜狼尽天下其一才无论是什么样的人物都已能名列狼牙榜中为荣此人便是狼牙才子榜上首名 这位江左梅郎到底是谁江左盟宗主梅长苏 姚应人间冰雪样暗香幽浮曲灵江便识天下英雄路俯首江左有梅郎梅长苏执掌了江左盟虽说是江湖帮派但在他的地界上实力威望一年强似一年无人可望其项背更离奇的是他本人虽不会
，还是派您长史明日一早的出发，务必赶在太子之前见到此人。即刻派一名战士前往郎州，务必要抢先和梅长苏搭上话。Everybody trying to get to Mei Changsu right now。庆国公的事儿怎么样了？殿下放心，这次有天泉山中的卓家出手。一定能够折断欲望的这条臂膀。金刚只不过是加赐给锦环两颗王珠，月氏和太子的脸色可是难看得很呐、啊。你可看见了？哎，誉王身负圣令，在陛下巡视江左十四州，历时数月，劳苦功高，得了赏赐也是应当的嘛。这两个孩子。I think he's the head honcho. I think he's the father. 不约而同的背上了厚礼，到郎州去了。He's definitely the their father. 才不知道。你窝在宫里，当然不知道。他们去争一个什么麒麟才子，据说。得知便得天下。哼，哎呀，不过就是江湖的一件白衣。真的天下，其实他说拿就能拿得去的。嗯，你说说是不是笑话？是是是。哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈
你苏哥哥就要丢下你去金陵了，不如你跟我到南楚去玩吧。不行，要去。<笑>你要去哪儿啊？金陵。He's going with him. <笑>你们两个去哪逍遥去了、啊？去接了一位朋友，他平日里身体不好，我请他来京城休养。叫、嗯。I like her. 不愧是宁国侯府啊！这几个字都是皇上御笔轻提的。父亲戎马半生，为国征战多年，故而。得到陛下这般恩赐，是啊，谢侯爷的军功可不是一般人能比的。这个时候，父亲应该在书房。苏兄，请。金瑞，我此次来京城养病，以普通江湖人的身份，可以省去很多麻烦。我现在唤您苏哲，你称呼的时候，可别疏忽了。苏兄放心，这个我记得。大哥，哎，谢毕回来了，这是我二弟，谢毕。这位苏哲苏先生是我朋友，啊，先生。他身体上有些旧疾，我特邀他来金陵小住休养。大哥的朋友便是谢府的贵客，苏先生，安心住在这里吧。您请。You don't even do this anymore, like. When I see stuff like this, it really like it. It just goes to show you how different Eastern culture is to Western culture because people don't even greet people like like I'm not talking about like it has to be bowing and all of that other stuff. Just just pleasantly. Like I can't I can't go to my neighbor's house and just be like, "How y'all doing? Everything okay?" Like. It doesn't happen anymore. People don't do that anymore. Everybody is skeptical of the next person. You know, it's just ugh. Like, look how welcoming they are to somebody that they don't even really know. So this is the dad. They don't want me to come in. At this point, I'm the last one. I'm going to go outside. Suxiu, come. Jin Rui has seen my father. I've been living here for so long, even after the end of the Golden Age. 以后若再敢如此的话，为父我。What？ 有客人。Does he know who it is？ 在下苏哲，见过侯爷。He, yo, what? From the opening sequence? 陛下的关爱，霓凰心里。既然答应泽旭，我就不会再辞世反悔。我只是想，能否改改规矩而已。能怎么改？这十名优胜者，有文氏的次序，逐一与我较量。直到有胜者为止。一皇，你的武功可是上了琅琊高手榜的
，邓仙谁能是你的对手呢？若是这十个人都不能胜出，这次你岂不是嫁不掉了？陛下放心，如若真遇到命定之人，无论他武功高低，我自会输的。适可而止，你可懂得？哎，不要枉费了朕对你的一片苦心。霓凰谨记。Yo, she is. She's really pretty, man. I like her. So she wants to face off against all the、um, potential suitors. That's crazy. 玄镜司长进使夏冬奉旨来见。哦，对，是朕叫他来的，去。是。陛下。嗯。既然陛下有公务，您皇告退。啊，没有什么机密之事，也一起见见吧。走吧。是。Executive Office。玄镜司夏冬参见陛下。免礼。郡主，夏冬大人，今日御史台呈上来了一件案子，说有一对老夫妇长途入京，状告庆国公亲族，在滨州剥夺他人地产为私产，谋杀人命等等诸多罪行，你可自行前往。请陛下吩咐。朕封你为特使，是朕的密诏，前往滨州详查此案。臣遵旨。本以为可以留在京城。看看你择婿的结果，没想到陛下偏偏在这个时候派我出去。你放心吧，陛下已经答应了，我可以亲自与求勋者比试。出不了什么乱子。陛下要是不答应的话，我怕甄选结果不合你心意。可是他答应了，我又怕你不给自己机会，只愿守着当初那不该许下的婚约。其实我心里明白。虽然你我在军中相识，情深意重，可只要我一日不嫁，你就依然介意我与林氏旧日的婚约，不能全然当我是朋友。莫夫君聂风，当年在林氏麾下是何等的忠心耿耿，没力一战，却被主帅所害，死无全尸，杀父之仇永世难忘，这点执念。还望你见谅。只是，你年纪也不小了，我还是希望你有个好的归宿。但愿吧。其实这次陛下选婿，是有他的心思的。如若我真未找到如意郎君，恐怕是也难回云南。So, so far, so good. So, what I'm going to do is,、um, after I do this review, I'm gonna go back through the episode and kind of write down some of the names and stuff like that, so I can remember them. Because I'm, I know I'm not gonna remember these names.、Um, so far, I'm understanding the plot. So far, so I don't think I have any problem with that. So far, following the plot, there may have been some things there. That was kind of confusing because they were introducing stuff. They were kind of like letting us know the relations of the peoples, like in the subtitles and stuff,、um, which I don't agree with. Like if you're going to do that, do that through through the story. And I'm pretty much,、um, I'm I'm thinking that、um, as we go along, I think we're gonna find out the relationship between each and every person that plays a, a major role or a minor role. In these, in in this、um, show, so I'm not too worried about finding out if this person is this person's nephew and stuff like that.、Um, you you know what I'm saying? Like, as we go along, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna know who's related to who and why they're here or why they're here, just following the dialogue、um, by itself. You know, so one of the things that I want, I know I'm probably not gonna remember throughout this show until probably like. 
when we're deep in is the names and i want to get the names right because especially during my reviews i want to refer to people as who they are um so it's gonna take me a while to get into that i'm gonna go through the episodes kind of look at the major characters that we were introduced to here kind of learn their names and stuff like that um an understanding so from what i understand during this is that one of the things that really surprised me was the fact that there's going to be martial arts in this i did not know that so that kind of caught me off guard but i'm here for it i'm ready for it because you know i thought it was just going to be your you know just your regular drama show um they showed the war stuff i thought it was probably going to be like you know if they if an army versus an army kind of you know that time period kind of piece you know what i'm saying so for them to introduce martial arts into this was very surprising to me because for me when it comes on to to basically most of the chinese movies that i've ever watched were martial arts movies you know what i mean so that's what really had me fall in love with um asian culture so much because because of these movies and and um fortunately you know I, i've gotten the chance to be amongst people like that and stuff like that so i'm happy about that but when it comes on to just the pure appreciation that i have for martial arts in whether it's tv shows whether it's anime whether it's um you know these things movies that i've come to just love you know jackie chan jet lee stuff like that in live action karate you know what i'm saying um karate or whatever they want to call it as they say um so all of these little things that i've grown up watching all these chinese martial arts movies right because a lot of people think that you know when it comes on to um, these movies they think a lot of this stuff comes only from out of japan and stuff like that a lot of the earlier stuff that we that we watch like growing up during you know the the 80s the 90s those karate movies those things that we come to know and love about martial arts and bruce lee and all this other stuff saw chinese culture man you know what i'm saying so um so i really do appreciate when i get to see something like this that really caught me off guard i did not know this was going to have some of that crouching tiger hidden dragon kind of style of martial arts in it and i'm all for it man um so from what i'm understanding from the plot right there's not there's not a lot of details we just basically got introduced to a lot of characters and what's really going on i don't think the the overall plot has been set in in you know episode one of course um but from what i can understand is is that we it, there's basically like this emperor he has like six kids and it seems like for, for for some reason if they are the emperor's kids right it seem it seems like they they get a chance to take over certain places and stuff like that and they have to maybe prove themselves in some ways to get that done um and it seems like they get crowned because at first i was like they're princes so they're already crowned why are we talking about a crowned prince but it seems like they have to earn their crowns you know what i'm saying and it just so happens that it seems like the last son which is the sixth prince earned his crown and then he got some sort of prophecy from the all-knowing temple <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm guessing we're gonna learn more about these all-knowing omniscient people. Um, I'm thinking it's just like an overall overseer of everything. Of like, it's like the the government. Like you have the just like in England, you have you have the queen, but you also have the parliament that run that run things, right? Um, but you still have the queen. So it's like here you have the emperor, but you still have a, a government that you know kind of tells people like who's the next up I st i'm still we still haven't gotten confirmation on who tried to assassinate you i think it's prince you the fifth prince i think he is as i said all these details i'm gonna get during the show it's just episode one chill out okay um i'm just trying to remember as many details as i can um 
so let's let's take these next couple of minutes and talk about these these women man like i knew there was gonna be beautiful women in this show but man they they standing out right now and they they really are <laughs> they really are like the faces already like in my mind you know what i'm saying because I, I already told you guys like that there's there's like um certain cultures that that you know that i enjoy and stuff like that and i think asian women are just like they they're just beautiful to me i'm not saying all of them but sometimes i think back in the day when it came on to women a lot of times they were depicted as ugly you get what i'm saying a lot of times and i never was a like attracted to to asian girls like way back in the day but then now when when i take a little balance of like looking at pictures from women from like taiwan and china japan filipino filipinas i should say yeah filipinas um um yeah i'm saying all these asian countries y'all y'all know them koreans yeah i'm saying like the women bro they are i don't know man like they they strike they strike a a serious chord with me <laughs> you know what i'm saying but um yeah man great things so far so good i'm very intrigued by this first episode of course um i don't know when i'm going to be releasing this series on the channel um because i'm gonna be honest i'm i'm a little bit worried that it won't do very well and for a lot of reasons it's not a popular show in the west but i'm hoping that we can get some people on board that you know will enjoy the show nonetheless and give me some good feedback as i said i'm gonna go take some notes on this first episode kind of get the names down of who the the emperor's daughter i i like her <laughs> the duchess right i like her <laughs> you know what i'm saying she's like probably out of everybody so far she's like her presence when she appeared you know what i'm saying f fighting with the two dudes and whatever and then she was the, just her just her presence alone i really like so far i like her and i like the um the other guy that i don't remember his name but the other guy that we met at the beginning like he was like the first the guy that was writing the stuff and he was he, the guy told him that you know he's better than 10 doctors like he his character is very intriguing to me um i like his demeanor as well also the sick guy as well um i don't we i don't know exactly who he is yet or what he's revealed to be but obviously have some sort of relationship with this guy that he went to meet um i think they met on the battlefield somehow um i'm gonna have to go back and watch that first sequence again when they were when they were um fighting to see what that was all about um i'm wondering if they it seems like they fought on the battlefield somehow or maybe he was rescued from the battlefield and he ended up in some other city with some other people i don't know if that's what happened but i'm guessing they're gonna reveal a lot more about that um ongoing as we go along but anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in for this first episode of nirvana in fire hopefully you guys are excited to watch more as i am as well leave a like on the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace